Hello and welcome to Technocratic. Today we're looking at uh, XBMC. We're looking at the BBC iPlayer um, add-on for XBMC. I'm running um, XBMC um, Eden uh, Beta 3, which is the latest one as a time of recording. I won't go into where you get it from and how you install it because I'll put a link in with this video to show you where to go. But I'm basically going to show you how it works and how, how great it is really. So we'll start by um, showing you where it, where it is. So when you go to your videos section, you will see a section for add-ons. If you click on there, once it's installed it will be here. I've got a few different add-ons on here. Um, as you can see, I've got four of the Demand Five, um, Hulu, Free Cable, which is a really great um, aggregators for uh, network um, TV in the United States, and there is there is iPlayer. Right before we go into it, I'll just show you its settings. So if you go to to System um, and Settings, if you go to the Add-ons, you can see where it's installed. Uh, don't worry about all of this because you'll, if you know how to use XPMC, you'll know how to use all that. But if you go to video add ons, it should be on there. So if you click on it in here, it'll give you a menu. So if you click configure, I just want to show you the different settings that it's got. So you can have, um, you know, general settings like program counting series, listings, thumbnail sizes, you can add subtitles um, and stuff like that. The streams part is quite um, quite interesting. There's different. Um, you can change the um, stream to use so automatic which gives me the the best stream. But then you've got different versions of the streams so like H.264, different um, um, bit rates of those. I usually set mine to auto, so that usually picks up the best one available. And the same with radio. Stream source is to do with um, how the stream is picked up by XBMC because um, the beauty of um, the iPlayer plugin for XBMC it doesn't actually use the um, the Flash player it actually grabs the stream directly from uh, the source so and plays it natively in XBMC so it's just awesome um, then you've got different um, port settings there you can set a proxy in the in the app, in the add-on, uh, if you, for example, you're in a different country and you've got a proxy set up for uh, the UK, you're an expat or something like that, you could do that in there, or you could use a VPN service or, uh, externally from the pro the software. If you probably be a bit easier. Uh, and then you've got advanced settings. Just you know, I've not really touched these. You can just change the sort of timeout settings and things. Uh, the most important one I find is the stream source. There's different ones. Akamai uh, or Level 3 Limelight. I've left mine on Limelight and it seems to work, but some people say that Akamai one works better. But anyway, we'll see if this will work now. So we'll come out of there. Right, so, go to videos. Add-ons, uh, iPlayer. So you click on iPlayer. You put. You can um, obviously browse different things there. So we go to TV, for example. It lists things in um, menu form, as it does in um, most of XBM. So you can change it if you go to here. You can change it from list view to big list to icon. So you could, in theory, have it like that. Um, so it actually looks quite nice like that, so I might leave it like that for a minute. So you got you can watch live, you can um you got and then you've got the different channels there. So for example, let's go to CBBS, my children's favourite. And then again you've got you've got different um programs listed or as again you can change that from list view to big list to icons maybe if you've got kids using it themselves it might be easier to have it like that um, and the beauty of this for example click on 
Let's choose one. How about Charlie and Lola? Why not? So you click on that, on that, and you can, again list view, or you can change that to a big list or icons or media info. So once, you, which is quite interesting. I usually have a lot of stuff on there. So for example, if you keep it on media info, you actually get a little bit of a synopsis usually that is it's grabbed from um, the iPlayer tell you what the episodes are about and if you click on let's play that one within a couple of minutes a couple of seconds it's playing let's just turn that down a bit that was a bit loud if you notice there's no um, no messing about it goes straight into the stream there's no um, um, introductory little video or anything like that that you normally get on iPlayer goes straight into it. It's practically like it's on. It's local. It's it's very very difficult to notice anything. And we'll stop that now. I'm gonna get done by the BBC for rebroadcasting. Uh, I'll try one more. We'll do an HD stream because obviously you can get everything in HD as well. Let's go. You can either go to a program you know is in HD or you can go to actually BBC HD. Let's have a look at BBC HD because we know they're going to be in HD. Right, what should we choose from here? Uh, it's got episodes of Being Human, so click on that. And then let's change that to Media Info so we've got an idea. It doesn't really give you a lot of information on the episode in the listing apart from, you know, it doesn't tell you what episode it is. But um, if you know what you're looking for, then it's not a big deal. For the, for the way it works, it's, it's really good. So let's click on one of these for two seconds. Again, it loads it up in pretty much, I'll take it slightly longer because it's HD, but it, there you go. I know it's difficult to see on this camera, but um, that's in HD. Let's see if we can get an info grab on the screen so we can see. Here we go. So that's running in HD 720, H.264, AAC Audio 2.0. And again, it may as well be on the hard drive. It's, it's playing that smoothly. Right, I'll stop that. Right, so that's um, a quick review of BBC iPlayer for XBMC. I hope you've enjoyed that. Keep um, looking at the technocratic website for, for more reviews. See you later.